What's up, Virgo, kings, queens, and everything in between? I am Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Saturn, and Jupiter in regards to a career and finance general message for the first week. Cards. For the first, I'm sorry, for the second week of July through the second week of August, y'all. All right, and I'm asking for clear and concise messages here. Thank you, ancestors, spirit, and spirit guides. Okay. All right, please keep in mind that the time frame is only meant for me. Um, whenever you see this message, that is when you are meant to see it. All right. All right, and we have strength at the bottom along with light in your load. Okay. Some of you guys are taking a lot on. Um, for a lot of you, it could be others' responsibilities here. It could be dealing with the Leo for a select few. Or feel like you're taking on the loads of a Leo or something like that. Yeah, freedom here. Yeah, it, it seems like you've possibly been caged there for quite some time and you're wanting to get free of something. For some of you, it's some sort of responsibility. For others, it's a sense of breaking out on your own. All right, we have healing here. Yeah, and confidence. Some of you guys could have thought that something wasn't um, accessible, accessible to you, like you can do something, but... Um, that was just the negative self-talk going on in your head. Um, you definitely can make this happen. That's the energy that I'm getting here, at least. All right, so we're going to get the past, the um, recent past, the um, current, and the challenges that you guys could be facing during this time. Okay. All right, so we have tragedy and twin flame. So some of you guys could be possibly dealing with your twin flame in love right now, and that can mess messing up your money. Um, you could have tried to go in business with your twin flame. At least is what I'm hearing. But um, yeah, we're gonna keep it moving because we're not talking about love today unless um, spirit forces it, and hopefully spirit won't force it. Okay. So we're gonna get that recent past, that current time, current energy. The recent past energy that's moving out and the challenges you may face during this time frame. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right. We have settlement, agreement, compromise. So some type of settlement or something was settled upon um, in the recent past here. Definitely getting an energy of like Something was signed here. I don't know why, but I feel like you guys kind of settled for something. Hmm. But, okay. Some of you um, definitely were on the receiving end, though, on some type of funds here. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Why is settlement here, spirit? Why is settlement here? All right. All right, we have temperance, Sagittarius energy, the death card in the reverse, Scorpio energy, and the um, four of swords here with six of swords and the lovers card. Some sort of decision was made here. Some of you guys were in a place where you need to refocus your thoughts in order to move forward. Gemini energy here with the lovers, but it's definitely in a sense of um, like something equaling out. You being in harmony with something. Um, you could have forgiven someone for something here as well. Hmm. Okay. Some of you could have, Okay, some of you could have gotten out of a relationship here and you received some funds in the past from that relationship. Um, something ending. 
and it was something that she could have possibly not wanted to end for some of you but for majority of you i'm getting this sense of you guys possibly getting let go getting some type of like severance pay from something like getting let go from some sort of like um job or something like that in the recent past but you got like a a package a severance package or something like that with it and then in your current energy here we have anchor chains weighed down anchor chains weighed down mm -hmm. something is holding you back obviously but why why is this here why why are they being held back why is like they're being held back spirit all right messenger of impulse and um opportunity knight of swords in the reverse all right someone has lack of clarity someone's impatient about something here um this is um aquarius's energy as well as capricorns mm, somebody doesn't want to go into this new beginning yeah they're holding on to the past i'm getting hmm. This could be your energy. You're not really wanting to move forward here. You don't see. You don't see what what's coming toward you. You don't see all of this. Uh, like the cage is open, but your ass don't see that you can get out and get better things. You know, you're holding yourself back here. Aries Aquarius energy here. It's definitely a sense of you feeling like um, something abandoned you here. But you need to go after what you're passionate about. You definitely need to go out after what you're passionate about. Why is, um, what's the challenge here, Spirit? What's the challenge? What's the challenge during this time? Because you have something that you're afraid to go after here. Hmm. Definitely let me know what this is. We have on the table, offer, proposal, commitment. All right. And like I said, just you're afraid to like start something new. You're holding on to something. And then it's like something's right here for you. It's like you almost feel like you don't deserve it. Karmic third party relationship at the bottom here. It could be being offered by somebody that you don't trust for some of you. But you need to make the decision. You can't just not make the decision, though. All right, what, what is... What's this here? What's on the table? What's on the table? Oh, okay. What's on the table here, Spirit? All right. We have Eight of Wands. Yeah, someone's trying to, like, like move some shit fast. Like, this is a new opportunity here for you. Empress in the reverse, Libra Taurus energy, and the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, as well as Sagittarius. If, okay, okay. It's definitely a sense where you could have felt unhappy about something in the past or that something was not um, stable here, you know. And you're trying to get, you know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of self-care is needed, which is why healing is here. But with the Queen of Pentacles here, you're going to be fine. This is like a stable offer. Even for some of you, it's after you had to end some sort of high level relationship here. And after you ended that or something with like your child's parent, even after that went awry, you're still getting this. You know what I mean? So It's like you are in a place where you're keeping yourself from this shit right here. King of Cups. And it's something that you really want to do. Something that you really want to do. And you're not jumping at it. It's almost like you feel like it's not going to bear any fruit. Like you you feel like you almost don't see the, the reason to go forward. Okay. What's what what's coming in? What's coming in here, spirit? What's coming in for Virgo? What's coming in for Virgo? And what are the intentions of what's coming in, spirit? Alright, thank you. Then we 
have Verge about to reveal confess um, a single current avail current status available single. Yeah, so some of you could definitely be leaving a high level commitment at this time or leaving some sort of um, position. All right, love, adore, admire, enchantment. Something that you love is coming in. Like I said, like it's like a passion project here. It's definitely going to be a surprise that's coming in. All right, six of wands, and it's going to win, baby. It's going to freaking win. Yes, yes. Six of Pentacles in the reverse, but make sure you pay attention to the shit that you sign because at the end of the day, people will be out for themselves and you don't want somebody to try to take advantage of you. So be sure that you're definitely double checking and double check a Taurus if, you know, if need be. All right, but yeah, this is definitely going to win here. You want to be diligent in your paperwork, but you're going to get the, you're going to get exactly what you want. So don't worry. Take the offer that's on the table. Do not be afraid in your current moment here. Do not be afraid. Okay? Yeah, because the Ten of Pentacles is coming. It's coming. All right, let's see. Realization, awareness, finding out, coming to light. Yes, it's coming. What's being realized? What's being realized, spirit? What's being realized, Spirit? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got the King of Swords in the reverse here. And the Nine of Pentacles. And the Judgment card. King of Swords in the reverse. This is definitely a sense of understanding that this person, um, a, a Taurus here, or possibly a Gemini, were not who they who they appear to be. This person was not for you. This person was emotionally abusive. This person was not really rooting for you. They were narrow-minded, narrow manipulative. Um, they weren't considerate of you. And you're deciding to finally put yourself first with the Nine of Pentacles and the Judgment card. You're choosing you. You're seeing this person for who they are and you're choosing you and moving forward. And good on you, Virgo. Good on you. Yeah, it may be a bit of a conflict with you and this person, but it's fine because you're ending a cycle with the world card. You're ending a cycle with this person feeling like they can talk to you or treat you any type of way here or just run around in your mind rent free because that's what I'm really getting. Like this person may not even be saying shit to you, but it's like they've already laid the groundwork to like mind fuck you or some shit or like whatever that is making you feel like you have to settle here. And not to say that you shouldn't be getting some sort of settlement or money in, but just something is making you feel like less than, like settling in the negative sense. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get some messages from the universe here for you. All right. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, please look at your other placements. I do sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Mercury. It says love doesn't have to to mean near. It says some are better love some are better loved at a distance for a while anyway, and that's okay. Besides, love doesn't really know the difference. Tally ho, the universe. Then we have you. You've got time. It says ever wonder what would make life's fleeting pain and sorrow totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever? wildly in love and loved wildly you have so much to look forward to all right so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it there thank you so much for all of your love and support and i send it back to you guys tenfold and i'll see you guys in the next one bye